In this uh, tutorial, we will look at the difference between elastic and viscous behavior of different materials. When we apply a force on an object, we may encounter an extreme outcome, viscous or elastic. In case of viscous, when a force is applied to an object, it will begin to deform. The deformation is proportional to the magnitude of the applied force. It will deform continuously until the force is removed. The object itself does not return to its original position. In other words, it flows. Well, that is what we experience with water or air. So in case of fluids, they will continue to deform and once the force is removed that caused that deformation, they do not get back to their original shape. In case of elastic, when a force is applied, the object deforms, but when the force is removed, the object instantaneously returns to its original dimension. This phenomenon was first observed by Robert Hooke, and this uh, phenomenon is also expressed as Hooke's law. For example, if we have a spring, when pulled apart, it increases in length, but as soon as we remove the tension force, the spring returns to its original length. Similar phenomena also occurs when compression is applied on the spring. We also have materials that are called viscoelastic, especially many food and biomaterials exhibit behavior that is between those two extremes we looked at, between viscous and elastic, and therefore they are called viscoelastic materials. And we will study about viscoelastic behavior in other tutorials.